Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's Guildspire here, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Where last left off, we were attempting to get Azazel to Mom's Heart and Beyond, but to no avail. I don't know what it is, but Azazel's always been one of those characters that I have struggled with in The Binding of Isaac. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, as they are very, very powerful but it's just something that I struggle with time and time again. But with that being said, let's jump right on in and uh, get things going, shall we? Just chilling, enjoying the day off since I called in. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, sounds like a, a good time at the very least simple. Just playing some Apex. Ah, very nice, very nice. What, uh, are you playing any champion in specific, or just kind of playing them all as they come about? I know that I was very much a Pathfinder main for quite some time, um, but I have not played Apex in a long, long while. Alright, good news about that, though it's not the best item in the world, we do get, uh, a Soul Heart off the bat. So... Not too bad, not too bad. We did have to use our Fool card early, but honestly, that card doesn't really do too much. Mirage will always be your main. Fair, fair. Puberty, that does pretty much nothing, so say la vie on that one. Hello, that is a huge freaking explodey spider. I do not like that because you are absolutely going to deal me some damage. Wow, I am shocked and awe that I did not. I'll be honest with you. That was a little bit surprising. I, I just loved the mobility that Pathfinder gave. I really did. It was a whole lot of fun uh, playing Apex back in the day. All right, some conga flies as well as some corny flies. Perfect, perfect. And then let me just get rid of you pretty quickly. Perfect. Any soul hearts or tinged rocks here? Doesn't look like it. Uh, you know, I don't necessarily need to kill you. I could just wait you out and get, uh, the Plum Flute, which is pretty strong, honestly, so I think I'm going to do that. The Plum Flute is a very, very good active item, and all I have to do is not injure Little Plum, or rather, not kill Little Plum. So, I kind of like this idea. I, I think this will definitely help me out. And I think we should be just about done. Unfortunately, we took some contact damage. There we go. The Plum Flute. So when we activate this active item, we actually summon Little Plum into the room that we're in, where Little Plum will then attack and damage anyone nearby. So not too bad, all things considered. So we'll, we'll use that mainly on like double wide rooms as well as boss rooms, methinks. Probably be the, the best use of it overall. All right, let's destroy these fires Some for some coins, maybe. Maybe some soul hearts could drop too. Unlikely, but uh, never outside the realm of possibility. What we really need right now is like a fire rate upgrade. We need something so that way we don't have to charge as long after we use our initial power. That would be ideal in our case. Uh, Mom's eye. Basically, we have an eye in the back of our head that can shoot tears. So once in a while, we'll uh, see that happen like what we just saw right there. So that's actually relatively okay. Most times you want enemies to be in front of you. So, I don't really feel like that's going to be too impactful during this run, I'll be honest. Alrighty. Well, that was unfortunate. You know, I, I was like, okay, I'll just destroy the jumper real quick. Jumps right into me. Should have really paid a little bit more attention to that and uh, recognize that's probably what was going to happen. Luck down. What I wouldn't give for a uh, false PhD, that would be actually pretty nice. Not going to lie. Allow me some damage up as well as black hearts. And that's something that we're definitely going to be hurting for is health gear, I think. Right now we haven't gotten a single health upgrade, but then again, I did take Plum Flute off the bat. So we could have probably gotten a damage or health upgrade earlier. 
but I did forego that chance instead for a good active item. All right, let's get in front of these jumpy boys. And we have already reached our item shop, so let's just bring out uh, Little Plum. Come on, Little Plum, body, uh, body them. I was gonna say body slam, there we go. That's the word I was looking for, body slam them. Perfect. We do get a devil deal, but our, uh, our health isn't looking too great, I'll be honest with you. I think we're only on three black hearts as we speak, so I think it's better for me to probably forego Devil Deals, instead go Angel. I was hopeful that maybe there'd be another Tinted Rock left in this floor, but it's not looking like it. We could go for our, um, whatchamacallit. Well, there, there goes a black heart. Or rather, at half of one. Yo, what's up, GG? How goes it? How goes it? How you doing? I can probably just stay here, can't I? Yeah, I can just stay here and not take damage. Maybe that would have been the smarter play. Except for the the black one. That one will explode when it dies. Alright. Let's make sure we don't take a hit there. So we're at two and a half hearts right now. Might as well go for it and hope for some soul hearts. That's definitely not a soul heart. I'll tell you what. Don't forget our diamonds. Yes, I will do that right after this. 48 hour energy and a tears down. That is less than ideal. So we're down to two hearts as we speak. I guess let's look for the secret and super secret rooms. Might not be a bad idea. You doing all right? Happy to hear that, GG. Happy to hear. Um, let's check this one. Wow, we are not getting lucky, to say the least, on those uh, secret and super secret rooms. Nothing? Seriously? Well, this is just becoming a thing now, apparently. What about here? Alright. Uh, I don't think that can be... It can't be there. It could be here, though. Let's see. There we go. There's our secret room. I mean, a bomb for basically the equivalent of a bomb's cost isn't great, mind you, but it's okay-ish. And then it would have to be here for the super secret. What? I definitely checked everywhere else a super secret could be. Uh, hardest difficulty, Resident Evil 6, you're playing a game that I don't know anything about. <laughs> fair, fair. Yeah, I mean, I, I am interested in playing the Resident Evil games. I I want to play 7 because I'm pretty sure 7, 8, and 9 are going are a trilogy, right? That's following basically Ethan Winters um, around. So I want to play them in succession, or rather at least uh, play 7 before I play 8. I've watched 8, or watched 7 be played, but I'd want to play 7 for you guys. Wow, that was uh, like an insta shot after spawn. That's awesome. Um, yep, I'm on one arc. That's that's great. Resident Evil's pretty solid. From what I've seen, it's pretty freaking awesome. So I, I definitely am interested in playing it. I'm just trying to figure out when. I thought about playing it today on stream as just like a full on stream, but unfortunately, I don't have the full time. From what I saw, the the playthroughs can be anywhere from like. Uh, three hours at the shortest, like 10 hours on average, based on what I was seeing. So I am, uh, I'm interested in doing so. Would you guys be interested in seeing that maybe next week? Or would you like to see it as like a full on series, out of curiosity? That'd be my, my only thought there. I might as well blow that up. A series for sure. So if you want it as a series rather than just like a one-off uh, video, like one-off stream, um, right now we're obviously doing Outlast, we're doing Subnautica. Realistically speaking, we probably wouldn't be able to get to Resident Evil until at least after Subnautica or Outlast, more likely than not. Probably Outlast, we could do, so here's what we could do. We could do, finish out Outlast, we could go and play Whistleblower, which is technically Outlast 2, though it's Outlast 1 with DLC, honestly. Um, nice. Didn't notice that needle. GG's. Um, 
So we can either play Outlast 1, finish that, do Whistleblower, uh, then play Outlast 2 thereafter. Or we could jump into a new series after that and jump into like Resident Evil 7. Because I don't think we need to play Resident Evil 1, uh, 1 through 6. Realistically speaking, we probably just jump into 7. Game and kill monsters and they two shot you in Village of Shadows. Jesus. That sounds horrific. Get uh, to game too often. My PlayStation was definitely mad at me uh, that night. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, be live streamed as well. So probably not. It's either going to be like live streamed for like a large. Um... Why'd I use the stars card? I'm dumb. Uh, so if we were to play Village as a series, it would not be live streamed. It would be direct to YouTube. Um, would be the way that I would do it. Very similar to like Outlast, Subnautica, stuff like that, right? Since it is a very meaty uh, game where I feel like not a lot of cuts are necessary, we would probably just end up doing a direct to YouTube without any edits. And Subnautica would stay as our only edited uh, videos um, as of right now. Obviously, as you guys subscribe more and more, we could end up actually getting more videos edited. So that's something to keep in mind. I may or may or have not forgotten I've had a familiar and I was like, oh, I'm just going to keep my charge so I don't have to use it. And I'll move that TNT rock here so I can get a freaking uh, secret room. But no. <sighs> that was a thing. That was a thing. All right. One hand, I'm happy for a familiar with a fire rate. On the other hand, screw me. Right, let's get the conga flies out of the way so we can fight these guys a bit more effectively. Uh, time to put nuggies in oven. Ooh. Are right, this like uh, regular nuggies or are they like flavored? Are they buffalo, barbecue, whatnot? Regular, yeah. Fair enough. Alright, so let's get rid of the slash jumper. They were dino. Ooh, the dino nuggies. I feel like that has somehow, like, kept, uh, like, through generations, that has always been, like, everyone's favorite chicken nugget. It's kind of interesting in that regard. I really have one bomb in hand still. So, not really worth us, uh, trying to find the secret room or super secret room unless we know where it is for certain. There we go. Uh, shot speed and speed. Not bad. Not necessary, though. Should be good. Now let's get rid of the spider spawners first off and foremost, and then the spiders. Oh, you wish they were dino. Gotcha. Sorry. I thought you said they were dino. All right, let's blow this up for a Tinted Rock, potentially. Hey, there we go. We get our bomb back and some Soul Hearts to boot. But, so, here's another question for you guys. This is something that is going to pull uh, at the end of the month uh, anyways, but something for you guys to kind of think about nonetheless. Uh, would you guys like to see more Outlast videos per week? Uh, so right now we're looking at like one Outlast video per week. The biggest thing is I don't want to oversaturate you guys with content. So we're not able to, for lack of a better term, keep up with uh, the uploads, right? Like if you guys want to watch every YouTube video, theoretically speaking, you know, uh, I'll see a lot of you guys are here for the streams, so you don't necessarily need to re-watch the Dead by Daily content unless you want to or unless you missed a stream. But would something like that where more Outlast videos be something that you're interested in, theoretically speaking. That way, we would theoretically be able to move through that series a little bit faster and move on to the next one, whether that be Whistleblower or Resident Evil 7. Alright, let's do this. Ooh, okay. I don't think we have anything too worth our while. Um in the shop, but having the, the money that we do is, is rather nice. Petrify Poo put in, in some work right now, that is for sure. Uh, let's go find our item room, though. I think that would be smart of us. Ooh, 
chest. Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. Alright, get rid of the spider spawners. That way no more spiders are well spawned. And I guess that our item room is over by the double wide chest. Oh, hi. That's a lot of spiders. I'd rather not be here. Thank you very much. But let's get rid of the spider spawners first, so that way we have a controlled number of enemies. Not just a theoretical infinite amount, if we are not careful. Last night, I had a... Yeah, sometimes it can have some delayed impact when it comes to losing a loved one, simple. So I, I feel for you, mate. I really do. And I do hope that things, um, you know, that your family is being supportive and that, you know, everyone in your life is being as supportive as they can be. Death in a family can be very difficult, if it, especially if it's like one of the first few deaths in the family, right? So, just know if you need anything from myself or the Guilty Ones, just let us know. Alright, might as well go into the Sacrifice Room real quick, take a quick peek. Um, might as well blow this up. Yeah, I mean, it's a card, so that's worth my while. And a Troll Bomb, which could give us black cards, it does not. <clears throat> gotcha. Makes sense, I mean, at the end of the day, take time for yourself, Simple. I think that makes a lot of sense. I mean, I don't think, here's the biggest thing I will say, Simple. There's never really instance where you theoretically get over it. Hey, what's up, Toast? Welcome back, welcome back. But there's never really an instance where you truly, like, get over a death, if that makes sense. It's something that you more or less learn to cope with in due time. Um, but you never, never truly, quote unquote, get over it. If that uh, makes sense, theoretically. It's something that you you learn to cope with um, as time moves on. And, you know, the saying is time heals all wounds. And that's not uh, inaccurate in any way, shape, or form. Time does heal all wounds in due time. But thank you much for the Lurk Toast. I appreciate it, mate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, if we don't see you later, I hope to see you again tomorrow at 5 p.m. CST for some Dead by Daylight. Let's take some time myself and mourn a little. Exactly, exactly. I think that is very important thing to do. Uh, not doing so, you know, puts yourself into a really precarious position. Uh, you need to take time to uh, mourn, reflect, and ideally look back on some fond memories. You know, don't, don't just uh, lament the fact that, you know, she's gone, but uh, also be, you know, take a moment to reflect on the good moments and the, the happy times that you shared with her, or vice versa. That is also very important, but everyone mourns in their own different way. So, do what feels best to you, my friend. That is the most important thing of it all. Alright, we need one more charge for Monster Manual. Might as well open this up. Uh, I would rather take... Petrified poop over matchstick, not gonna lie. And we don't know what that is. So I'm tempted to take the soul heart, but we'll hold off for right now. And let's find another room with enemies so we can get another charge on monster manual. That was close. I don't know how I managed to dodge that explosion, to be honest, but I think I'm pretty lucky for doing so. All right, monster manual time, get number two. Perfect. Oh, we got we spawned the leech. I didn't even realize that we spawned the leech. Fair enough. Uh, you know what? We can go into the curse room. Uh, best case scenario, we get uh, soul hearts. Get our devil deal for free. Huh. Interesting. I don't know what any of these items are, so it's really not worth it to me to go into the devil deal, is it? So, let's go into this one room and get another charge on our book. BFF putting in some work right now, not gonna lie. 
our, our BFF plus uh, monster manuals actually doing some work to these enemies. The leech especially is doing a ton of damage. So I'm just gonna let leech do its thing sometimes. I think that's the smart play here. Uh, so we want to do some damage to make it that much easier, but otherwise leech can just do contact damage over time. And it is just eating them up. I say as I immediately take damage for no intent reason. I mean, I might as well. Bucket of lard. Okay, good news. Our health is trash. Bad news, we lower... Our health is good. Our speed is trash. But it's not as bad as it could be, so... I'm not too upset. A one room. What does the one dice room do again? I want to say that might reroll the floor. Um... Rerolls Isaac's current collectibles um, into items in the treasure room item pool, similar to what D4 would do. So I think we're going to forego that one. I don't think that is really worth my time, but we can press these buttons, see if we get some uh, additional goodies. So far, the answer is a big fat no, though. Leech, do your job. Thank you, thank you. This must be the way to uh, the boss room. We're going to hold a charge. I don't think I need an additional uh, familiar right now. I think we can hold a charge for the next room. Start that up. All right, you go this way. Leech, go, uh, go Shiro, Gerdy, a good time. Okay, let's not uh, push Gerdy into me, though. That would be nice. There we go. And let's see. Mom's pearls, range, luck, and a bit of health. Yeah, I'll take that. That that works out for me. The range especially. This run isn't seeming too bad right now, not gonna lie. We got uh, a peeper. Not the best item in the world, but the BFF damage that it outputs might not be all too bad for smaller rooms. Bigger rooms like this, it doesn't really do too well, just due to the fact that it uh, doesn't really bounce off the walls all too quickly, but smaller rooms like this should do pretty well. Like, it just one-hits that spider. So that's not... Okay. Wasn't expecting to take contact damage, I'll be honest. Yeah, look at that. It is actually destroying some of the, the little guys. All right. Ooh, this room is great for me. This is money central. Potentially some soul hearts too, thanks to the petrified poop. Yeah, this is actually excellent. So I will most certainly take my time to destroy all of these. Should give us a, more than enough to go into our shop. Definitely worthwhile in the key too. Deck of cards is really good. Um, I guess we'll take the monster manual. I think it is the better bet in the long run. Let's be honest here. Soul heart. Yeah, I'll take that. Pills. Amnesia. I found pills. You know, I'm not too thrilled by that, but here we are. Diabia. And range down. Oh, well, that's, that's a wee bit disappointing there, boyo. Unfortunate. Alright, well, we can live with this. And we need to get rid of you. Thank you. Shot speed isn't the best in the world. Mom's toenail, when we pick that up, uh, mom's foot, our mom's, yeah, mom's foot will once in a while stomp down on our location. Um, it can be used to break rocks and or destroy enemies, but honestly, the risk is not worth the reward in my personal opinion. All right, got another monster manual going. I don't know what rooms we have available, so I'm not sure what charges look like, but I guess I'll go for it nonetheless. Once again, this would be better for a small room with, like, Big Chub. Big Chub freaking BFF sounds really good, not gonna lie. That was two charges. And I think we should be able to get another charge before we get to the boss room, ideally. But let's definitely go in here. Greed fight. Let's get this out of the way so we don't need to deal with greed in the later floors. That way we can ideally get our shops. And potentially see a super greed, either in a super secret room or uh, 
or in our next shop. Let's get that out of the way too. Let's get rid of you guys. And Monster Manual is ready. I think I'm going to save my charge. I think that's the right move for the next floor. Ensure that we do have it available to us. Um, so that we start off with an additional familiar with BFF. I don't think there's a reason for me not to do so. Alright. Yeah, Peeper plus uh, Big Chub is definitely going to put in some work here. Uh, I didn't realize the freaking guys were spawning immediately after their death, though. Another Devil Deal. Tears up. Yeah, I mean, we can go for the Devil Deal. Ooh. Hello. Okay, this is interesting. We can take Azazel's Brimstone and just give me Brimstone. Yeah, I mean, that's that sounds good to me. Uh, I think we just go down. I, I don't think there's any reason for me to continue exploring the floor without uh, mapping. Speaking of, let's just map out real quick. Yeah, actual brimstone feels nice. Not gonna lie, it feels nice. I am, uh, I'm pretty happy with that devil deal. Normally I wouldn't say brimstone would be too necessary on Azazel, but that, like, infinite range. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Won't lie. And the tears up from the coat hanger. Ooh. Rotten Baby. Rotten Baby spawns a fly basically every tick, which does twice our damage uh, to enemies. So that's, uh, that's a really good find, too. Very good finds today. Get Unki. I would like to... Okay, I was about to say, I'd like to get something out of my shop. Um, thankfully, this means since Super Greed's here that we don't need to worry about any Greed's on our next shop. It is our last one, though. So, we'll I'll definitely have to make it count with the amount of money that we have. We're probably going to be donating a decent amount to uh, the donation machine, me thinks. Let's head to the boss. Alright. Now, yeah, we're getting some good luck here. The bonies. And the sun card. Sun wouldn't be bad. Uh, let's actually get to our secret room. Might as well some sacks. I don't think I can get through without using my keys, though. Um, that's a tinted rock, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know what? Why not? Let's just open it all up. Yeah, one key for three keys works for me. And then one key for two keys and a temperance card. I don't think I'll really be using the temperance card anytime soon, but hey, you never know. You never know. Oh, that's a troll bomb. You know, I was safe in that corner up until the point where you put a troll bomb underneath me. It'd have been nice if I could have stayed that way. Honestly. I completely forgot to use my monster manual, by the way. Uh, on this entire floor. I could have had, like, another two familiars with me at this point. Alright, buddy. Yep, they're gonna spawn supplies. We have little delirium. I don't feel like we even have unlocked. I guess uh, Monster Manual can spawn some layers that you don't have unlocked yet either, which is kind of interesting. I wouldn't have not have thought that. Alright, this is the, like, spray and bray version. And then next version is the brimstone version, yeah? Oh, as well as the, the rock ball. Oh, see, I, I have no idea how to predict whether it does the, like, straightforward laser or the side lasers. I'll be honest. Uh, some health and regeneration. The health can be used for our, uh, our devil deal, I suppose. We, we have kind of locked in devil deals, haven't we? Curse of the Maze. Um, let's use the sun card as pseudo mapping. That works for me. Didn't think that you would hit me with my speed, but apparently I was incorrect on that thought. Curse and Maze made us pass up a room less than ideal, but that's okay. Let's get into our shop real quick. Uh, where are you for time? We're at 17 minutes. 
We could probably make boss rush. Except for the fact that Curse of the Maze just kind of screwed us over a little bit. But also got us on the right track. So you know what? Say love you. Say love you. Got us to where we needed to go. As long as it doesn't teleport us here, I think we should be fine. That would be a little bit obnoxious, not gonna lie. Alright, just need to beat Mom in like two minutes. And we should be golden. I'll just kind of destroy all the enemies as they spawn. There comes the stomp. Come on, a little bit faster here, Mom. A little bit faster. Uh, I'm on a clock here. On the clock. Ooh, did not see that. I thought I had the, the damage in time. Apparently, I was wrong about that fact. Uh, money equals power plus health. Sure. Go for it. Speed up, and here we are for boss rush. Fruitcake or the kidney bean? Uh, we're going to pop our monster manual for Seraphim and grab the fruitcake. Let's go. Let's see what the entry can do. Whoa, what the fresh hell is that? Looks like Hungry Tears with uh, Brimstone. I've never seen that before. Yep, you're going... Oh, we also have uh, Spore Shot. Interesting. We got an Eternal Heart. Basically, will act as an additional health upgrade if we can make it through the floor without getting uh, killed. That'd be kind of cool. Let's see if we can do this. The idea is still for us to make it to Mom's Heart, but, I mean, if we can get Boss Rush done, then I'll be pretty happy, all things considered. Black heart? Yeah, thank you. Works for me. Another monster manual, too. I think that was a holy brim sh Uh, oh, not a holy brim shot, but, uh, a holy shot. Not too shabby, not too shabby. We have 11 points of damage. When did I get 11 points of damage? I'm not even sure of that fact. Like, I have zero clues of how we're at 11. What'd I do for 11? Did Fruitcake give that to me, or was that something else? Huh, strange. Alright, good news is more monster manuals. I. Ooh, Midas Touch on uh, Monster X. Love it, love it. Love to see it. Where are you going, mate? Where are you go? Oh, I thought that you're still invulnerable for some reason. Uh, it looks like all champions right now in Boss Rush for some reason. I don't know what I did to deserve this, but here we are. Um, but it does mean potentially a lot of like soul hearts, a lot of black hearts, stuff like that, which can help me as far as health is concerned. So I guess that's good news in that regard. All right, where are you at, Warp? There we go. No more pony for you. Yeah, this, this feels good. This feels good right now. Where's our other... Oh, I was about to say, where's our other boss? I was a little bit concerned there for a second. Ooh, Bob's brain. And I also got another uh, Rotten Baby, too, which is now doing 22 points of damage. He also just got a damage up. For what? What did I, what did I do for getting these damage ups? Oh, money equals power. That's right. Money equals freaking power. Fair play, fair play. I was like, why am I why am I getting so much damage up right now? That would make a lot more sense. That would make a whole lot of sense, honestly. Alright, little one. You could uh, just die there, that'd be nice. Got some free soul hearts. We do have a free health upgrade for all intent and purpose. Might as well make that work in our favor. Alright, cage. Hungry Tears, and we have unlocked the nail and gotten the pencil. Yeah, fair play. Awesome. I mean, that was a really, really good boss rush. I'm not going to lie. Money equals power has literally just like changed our runaround from something that was like mediocre to something that was really, really strong. Uh, let's make use of Monster Manual as much as possible here. This is an XL floor, so this is kind of all or nothing as far as Mom and Shield is concerned. So, something to keep in mind there. So, Monster Manual all the freaking way. Alright. You want to open up? Come on now. There we go. Perfect. 
Oh, there's another one. I did not see you there whatsoever. Get some more money. We're about maxed out, though, so it's about to be a bit of a moot point with money equals power. But, I mean, at a 12 point, what, 4 9 damage, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good right here. Okay, I have no idea what just caused that. That was a little bit odd. Not gonna lie to you. That uh, could have could have gone. Wait, was it a Bob's brain? No, we have. What do we have right now? That's causing that. It's like explosive flies or something. I don't. We really don't have Bob's brain right now, so I genuinely don't know what. We have a uh, monster. What's hitting me? What what is doing all this damage? I'm so confused. I really am. And B is going to get dispatched pretty quick. Midas' is touch. I like it. I like it. Let's try not to take damage as it's going to deal full heart's worth. And we don't exactly have too much uh, health left, I'll be honest. And I don't need any of that, really. We have uh, all the money we need, and as well as a good number of keys. All right, monster manual again. Might as well take a peek in here. Two golden chests kind of feels good. Not gonna lie. Um, rosary bead, faith up. Uh, I'll I'll take it. Why not? Of course, it's the wrong way. I was really really hoping that we were on the right way to the boss. Screw it. Screw it. Uh. Crackjack should give us a health piece, I'm pretty sure. Uh, all chests are now black chests, which I actually do like that, as that could give us a lot more soul hearts. Yeah, this was uh, well worth our time, honestly. I, I will take it. I'll take it. Let's do this room here so we can get another, uh, another charge on a monster manual. Might as well. Are you dead? No, you're not. Close. We could go immediately to shield. I don't want to do that. I kind of wish I would have known what that chest was prior to, but I guess uh, beggars can't be choosers in this instance. Pin? Pin. Pin and needles. Where are you at? Where are you at? There's the needle. All right. And two more rooms for another charge of the monster manual. There is a mega troll bomb. No thank you. No thank you. Brimstone. Spiders. And I don't think you're going to really stand much of a chance, me friend. All right. No reason to go into the cursed room, honestly. So let's uh, avoid that. And we do have another charge of the monster manual. Troll bomb, nice. Just what I wanted to see. All right, low. Not a fan of you, but I think that you're gonna be dispatched pretty quick. Not sure where I'm taking damage from, I'll be honest. I really do not know. I took two, hel uh, two full hearts of damage. No clue. Uh, I feel like I might have too many uh, familiars to be actually able to see what the hell is going on. Not even gonna lie. Like right there, no clue. But, so bad news, good news. Good news, uh, we beat mom's heart pretty handily. Bad news, we didn't get the shield even though we had the chance to get the shield. So I kind of want to explore. This will count as a win no matter what. So we might as well kind of uh, meander around real quick. See if we can find like a joker card maybe or another, um, red chest that will give us the ability to go to shield might as well chances of that happening pretty slim all things considered but hey might as well try all right perfect sure we have we have too many friends already but i might as well add some more okay this, this is looking promising. There we go. 
There we go. Down to Sheil we are. Epikek is unlocked and so has Begotten Baby. I've never actually gotten Begotten Baby. That seems like a new one. Oh, great. Curse of the Lost. This Amnesia Pill will really hurt me now. All right, let's dispatch you relatively quick. And Trisigon. Wow. We're getting some good value off of um, the Fruitcake, honestly. Like, Fruitcake is one of those items that used to pick. They went like, eh. Do I want it? Not really. But now it's kind of maybe being one of those items that's like, okay, this isn't too bad. This is okay. We can, we can roll with this after all. Got a soul heart after that. That's nice, nice. Let's uh, bomb these last two. Hope we get another soul heart. No dice, but hey, one's better than none, I will say. That's a lot of spiders. No, thank, and you. I have no idea where I'm going since I don't have mapping, though. Uh, brim turrets? Yeah, brim turrets. I'm gonna pass on that, thank you very much. And who's our, who's our new friend? Oh, um, keep a mute. Cube of meat, works for me. All right, wanna pop on up? Come on, buddy, you know you wanna. You know you wanna. All right, big guy, you just uh, stand there looking all pretty like. That worked out pretty well. And we can once again destroy these uh, fires for some potential soul hearts. I think it's like a 25% chance now, flat. Uh, but it's not very likely. I'm not gonna give up my damage. I think that would be a mistake on that beggar. We could blow it up though. See, maybe if it gives us a soul heart, it's doubtful, but hey, might as well. We have the bombs to spare. Hey, we got a bomb back. That works too. That works too. Nothing here, but we do get another buddy. Looks like a ghosty buddy. Should be dealing a decent amount of contact damage, not gonna lie. And perfect. Let's see, one red chest for three waves. I don't know, on Sheol, I, I feel like that isn't entirely necessary. So we're just gonna make our way over to uh, the boss, me thinks. Ghosty boys, you guys are a tad bit frustrating, but I think we should be able to make do. Oh, wow, you spawned on top of me. That's a lovely sight, really it was. Best thing I've seen all day. That damage though. Not to mention the fact that your health, your health is ridiculous. Good for you. Fragmented card, double moon. Huh? What the hell do you do? Double moon. Uh, makes two secret rooms spawn on each floor. Well, I don't exactly have any more floors, so that's uh, pretty much a moot point. Soul heart, though. That's lovely. Getting some good luck with these fires, I'll tell you what. Go spawn again. Let's try and dispatch a few relatively quickly. I feel like I got three for the price of one. There we go. And let's uh, start bombing for more soul hearts. And no dice. All right, some ghost on ghost action right here. What's this? Ruined shard. It glows faintly. These are items that I've never seen before. What the hell are these? Ruin shard. Consumable. Activates a random weak ruin effect. Algis grants three seconds of shield and just reveals the map up to three rooms array. Burkino uh, gives one blue fly and spider. Degas gives half a soul heart. Awaz opens a trap door. Agalaz destroys some rocks. Jera duplicates one pickup and Pritho rolls one item. Yeah, I've never seen this before. I might as well... I don't know what that did. I really don't. But, hey, I don't care. We're here. 
All right, let's use emergency contact, not here. Let's use it on the next, uh, next wave. So we're gonna use it now. Emergency contact, mother, where are you? Aren't, aren't you supposed to help? Are you supposed to grab Satan? No, not gonna grab Satan. Cool, just what I wanted. For you to do literally nothing. Going pretty good, Yobies. Going pretty good. How about you, my friend? Hopefully you've been doing well. Been just playing some Binding of Isaac, getting our first win on Azazel, both on Mom's Heart and Shield, which is pretty freaking exciting. All right, though. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. What'd you find in there, Isaac, my boy? Oh, no, you're going down stud. Gotcha. All right, so what have you unlocked? You have unlocked a demon's tail. Not too shabby, not too shabby. We're getting closer to uh, completing our next run. So I think now we are moving on to the Lazarus and then Eden. So Lazarus will be next. But with that being said, we're going to go say bye to YouTube for now. As a reminder, guys, if you did enjoy this episode, Please make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave us a like, a comment, and come check us out on twitch.tv forward slash guiltspire to check out some Dead by Daylight, Binding of Isaac, and more. With that being said, YouTube, I will see you next time. Bye-bye!